What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Tim Hikes, and I am back after so long. But today, in this video, we're going to explore the anime features in Adobe XD. So let's jump into it. A couple months ago, Adobe doing the Adobe Max conference, it featured the auto animate feature with inside of XD. And today I just wanted to take some time to try to explore this to see what it's all about. So let's choose the iPhone configuration uh, with inside the app. I have it open here. Uh, we're gonna do the iPhone 6, 7, and 8 here. Um, on this screen, we're just gonna create a simple button. So. Uh, let's select our rectangle and uh, we're just going to make a simple rectangle within the confines of this phone prototype okay so we have our rectangle um, next we want to round the corners out just a little bit um, so I'm going to so I'm just pressing up and in doing so, you can actually see how rounded the corners are. I'm gonna take off the border by unchecking the check mark and then and let's change the color. Uh, yeah, so I think this is about right. Yeah, I'm a sucker for pink. And next we want to, maybe I think I wanna add a shadow. Uh, so let's add a really light shadow, bring it in very close. Mm. Yeah, let's go. So I'm going to select here over the Y and press down to decrease or increase how I want it. So I'm going to pray at these configurations till I get something that I like. So so it kind of seems like it's a it's floating a little bit. I'm kind of liking this. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to change the title here. So if you double click the title, you can just change that title so i'm going to put start here and then i'm going to hit our text tool tool here and i'm going to write start so uh S -T -A -R -T, and we're going to increase the size so you can press up and down uh well that's not the size no we're gonna yeah letter spacing a little bit um so i'm press just pressing up and down pressing up to see I don't think it's doing anything <laughs> uh, no it looked like it didn't do anything at all okay let me try this again maybe I need to do bigger numbers okay there you go so it was doing something but it wasn't enough um, so about 300 yeah um, I'm not sure if I want to change the font but we changed the color now I can't see it um, so we changed the color yeah there we go and I'm going to pull it directly over the button we created so now we have a button that says start and now we're going to duplicate our iPhone uh, so you grab it and hold your command and shift and slide it directly over easy peasy and I'm double clicking the title and I'm going to change the name to finish. Okay. And this is where we have to remember when we want to animate, we have to use the same exact board from the first. And so with that, that rectangle we created, I'm basically extending it and let's change this text here to welcome. Uh, yeah do welcome and then let's center this directly in the middle of the button that we started with so um, yeah we we'll pull it down hmm. okay so now we just have to connect our prototypes so we're going to go into prototype I got it I understand how this works and I'm gonna highlight slide take the arrow select it to the next and here we're gonna change from transition into auto animate. Um, and then this should do what we want it to do. So I'm gonna press the play button. It's gonna pull up a board. Ah, so there we go. So you see the expanding. So I think now we need to make it go back. 
you know make it smaller again so i'm going to take the other arrow and i'm going to say go back to start and so i'm going to put it here on the artboard and we're going to go back to start and let's press play again start we click it again there we go so it was a very simple animation very quick and easy to do but this basically gives you an idea of what you can do just by duplicating the artboard and making shapes so i'm gonna try something that's a little bit harder next because i've seen them do a whole bunch of things that they really didn't explain how to do but yeah i think it's time that i do something that's a little more intermediate so I want to thank you for dropping by this video. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, please take this time to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video where I'm going to explore a little more, well, a difficult animation with inside Adobe XD. Thank you. Have a good day.